Look here, look at this fancy restaurant. Oh man. It's way out of my class. Oh well. Sometimes you gotta make exceptions. Live it up a little bit. The one thing I love about restaurants is that for just an hour or two out of your day, you get to take a break from waiting on everyone. And for a change, you're the one being waited on. Man, it would suck to be a waiter. That's besides the point. Look at these people here in this restaurant. Such a, such regulars. Man. They probably come here every Tuesday at 7. Same routine. I can see them. It used to be me. I used to do everything by the books. Routine. But I decided to make a change. It's working out for me so far. I'm the guy in the back. My name's not really important, but what is important is my purpose here. I feel like everyone has a purpose in life, and I don't know, I think I found mine. Oh, come on, man. Not here. Don't do this again. He's probably right. I probably shouldn't do this here. It's too fancy. But we are running out of restaurants. And there's only so many in each town. Dude, you overreacted way too much. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wonder who's gonna be this time. Maybe it'll be these two. Eh. Maybe him. This month, I got three birthday cards. It's not even the middle of the month yet. Last month I got four. And let me think, the month before, I got six. I can't remember half the people that sent them to me, but God bless them. Don't ever forget me though. I wonder who's going to be tonight's hero. The whole ordeal itself usually doesn't last for more than a minute, two tops. Which is good, because I can't hold my breath much longer. Hopefully that guy comes to save me. He seems like he pick up the check. My personal choice is... uh. The lady he's sitting with, you know, for the obvious reasons. Even if I don't get a free meal, I figure I have to spend money to make it. Why do you keep doing this? You're so mature. If someone saves your life, they'll love you forever. It's like that old Chinese custom where if someone saves your life, they're responsible for you forever. Now you're their child. For the rest of their lives, these people will write to me, they'll send me cards on the anniversary, Birthday cards. It's kind of depressing how many people have the same idea, but hey, I'm not complaining. They usually send cash, and I need to pay the rent. By you pretending to be weak, you make others feel strong. You've saved others by letting them save you. You will forever be the proof that they're a hero. Why do I do it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's for the attention. By choking, you give them a story to tell their kids. And you'll forever be immortalized in the saver's eye. They'll think they gave you life. You might be the only thing that justifies their whole existence on this earth. <laughs> it's the martyrdom of Saint May. Soon enough, a stranger will come up from behind me, start hugging me tight, thrusting his fist up in my abdomen, pushing up to get this piece of food out of me. Soon it will all be over, and I'll be in someone's arms. Someone will care about me, like I just came out of the womb speaking to me in a soft but consoling tone. 
Tell me everything's gonna be all right. Is everyone all right? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Sorry. They saved me. <laughs> I almost died. No matter who it is, they'll love you. I've never felt more needed in my life. It's much more their birth than yours. But for years, this person will send you a birthday card on this day and month. As a sign of a new beginning. Why not put yourself out there? Let yourself be broken and humiliated. Don't just do it for the money or for the adoration. Do it to save some helpless soul from the monotonous boredom that society puts them through. Well, I'm done here. Right